Okay guys, welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. Now when we last left off, we were in some sort of psychedelic dream sequence, so let's go. Oh man, that's loud. <laughs> Give me a break, Kyrie. Sorry, you lazy bum. I knew that I'd find you snoozing down here. So we've just introduced our first no, two characters. No, huge black thing swallowed me up. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't. Now, are you still dreaming? It wasn't a dream, or was it? I don't know. What was that place? So bizarre. Yes, yeah, sure. Say, Kyrie, what was your hometown like? You know, where you grew up? It's kind of I've a random question. Before. I don't remember. Nothing at all? Nothing. You ever want to go back? Hmm, well, I'm happy here. Really? But you know, I wouldn't mind going to see it. I'd like to see it too. Along with any other worlds out there. I want to see them all. So what are we waiting for? Hey, aren't you guys forgetting about me? And we got our third so, character. I guess I'm the only one working on the raft. Ah. <laughs> and you're just as lazy as he is. <laughs> so you know this. Okay, we'll finish it together. I'll race you. Huh? What? Are you kidding? <laughs> Ready? Go! I think Kairi is the most expressive character in this uh, in this whole game, like in terms of like <laughs> how many different facial expressions she has. Riku, which is the guy in blue, the blue hair, the steel blue eyes, he's got like literally like two facial expressions that you see: his weird smile and his like poker face. Anyways. So the game officially introduces itself to us, in case we, you didn't know what you were playing. And once you enter every world, it tells you where you are. So we are here at the Destiny Island. Okay, so we get control here. So our character, Sora, last name unknown, he is, uh, I think he's 14 years old. Alright, and his voice still hasn't really cracked yet. So let's talk to Kyrie right here. Sora, can you gather the rest of the supplies? Sora, are you listening to me? Huh, there's a yes and no question. Uh, what was that again? Jeez. Can't build a raft without materials, right? Here's what we need. Two logs, one cloth, one rope. Bring everything back here. If you need help, just ask. No more slacking, okay? Well, I've never actually said no to that question before, and it doesn't really change what she says. So two logs, one rope, one cloth. So here's one of our logs, right there. And here's Waka right here. Let's talk to him. Hey, what's happening, man? Hmm. Now, I wouldn't say that's the worst voice acting I've ever heard, but that's kind of bad. What about you? Can you do better? Ah, the breeze feels great. Alright, not bad. Not bad. And let me check out this area. You can climb these trees over here. Yep. But you can't get on top of them, I don't think, so there's really no point. And look at that, we have a little toy wooden sword. It's even got like a cross tilt on it. I don't know how you made that thing. It must have taken a lot of work. And it apparently never like splinters or breaks. Well here's our rope right here. Come on. And here is Titus. Hey, Sora! You feel lucky today? Yeah, because my sword looks way cooler than yours. Yours is just a rod. I'm feeling lucky. Why don't we take him on? So yeah, you can just fight your friends here. So let's see what you got here. Jumps. Okay. So what you gotta do is you just gotta you know jump around. Just wait for him to attack you first. You can pull off a little combo on front of him. 
And yeah, your character actually does make noises, unlike in that little awakening sequence. Oh, shoot. Alright, yeah, see, like... Okay, I got hit. If you hit each other at the same time, it does that weird, uh... That thing. And I'm getting my butt kicked, so... Potion. Okay. Oh my god, how did I miss? Okay, I'm not doing well at all. Alright, let's show this guy how we do things downtown. Oh my god, are you still not done yet? Should've taken on Waka first, he's the easiest one. Alright, there we go. Beat him. And I got a level up. No, you just suck. Anyways, that's enough of that. Let's go down here. Uh, these boats. Apparently somewhere off in the distance. Like, we don't actually live on these islands, we just hang out here. So, I guess that explains why there's no actual houses and everything's just made out of wood. But did we build this, or did someone else? It's a good question. You know, I have to fight Selfie, too. Let's fight this girl. Oh, wait. Let me talk to you. What are you up to these days? We never see you. You never see me? Alright, I'll beat your face okay, in. Don't hold back. You ready? Oh, great. You gotta kind of like time your attack so that she doesn't hurt you. Like that. And you get tech points for it too. So you actually get more experience from her than you do from Titus. Even though that she only gives you one experience point when you beat her. So yeah, I beat her pretty quickly. She's a lot easier and I got a lot more experience from her. Oh, I can't believe I lost. <laughs> Get experience. Ah, uh, I'm such a terrible person. I just beat up a girl. Alright, let's try you next, big man. Show me it took me a while ball. to figure this out. But basically, he throws this ball at you and you have to hit it back at him so it makes him all dizzy. You can pull off a combo, step back, rinse, and repeat. <sighs> So yeah, this is just the beginning phase of the game. I like to level up a little bit here. Um, just so I can have that extra, you know, stats, health, defense. And, uh, what else? Whoa. Gotcha. Yeah, that one gave me two points. That really hurt. Anyways, so we just beat up all our friends here. So why don't we continue looking for the supplies? Actually, I'm supposed to go back this way. Look how ridiculous Sora jumps. Who jumps like this? Well, actually, I'm not one to judge. I mean, it's kind of weird because it looks really goofy with his like humongous shoes and poofy like. So uh, what should we call it? Surf pants, I guess. What they are? Like I don't know. They're they look like water wings for your legs. And he carries around a chain for some reason. He's got, uh, let's see if we can get a little bit closer to him now. I need to get like, right here. Probably, oh, no. There we go. Get a little bit closer. He's got that little crown chain around his neck. Oh yeah, by the way, like, what you're supposed to do to get up there is actually go through this, the seaside shack. In here there's a save point. And up here, you just end up on the bridge. But if you do the jump properly, you don't really need to. You can just jump over it. It's not that difficult to figure out. So we got to rope one of the logs. Here's the other log right here. And so we're all done. But first, let's talk to Riku. How long have I been recording? 10 minutes, almost? 9 minutes, 20 seconds. All right, then. So Riku's being all cool, just sitting, looking at the sun's at the shore, the water being all philosophical or something and then yeah we'll see who's got the better poofy pants let's go oh dude okay so basically oh my god get him oh come on that wasn't supposed to happen yeah, basically if you fall off you lose Wait, let's try that again okay I'm not gonna lose to Riku even though he is the most difficult fight on the island 
I deserved better than that. Because I want to get a couple of items from him. Alright. So you hit him three times. And then once you hit him the fourth time, he does that weird getup. And if you're standing in the way, if you try and pull a combo off, he'll do some severe damage to you. Like, worth like a third of your health. So you gotta... Almost missed. Or er, almost got hit. Sorry. Gotta get away from the edge. You still don't got it. Come on. Alright. Look how weird that tree is growing there on the side. Or er, back there. Oh dude, I'm not paying attention. You hit me that time? Oh. Oh my god, I'm not talking. So, oh shoot. What? That was... How? Oh man, one more hit and I'm done. Oh, what? Wow, I am... I'm embarrassed. One more time. Just wasting time here. And I really shouldn't be recording this video right now. I got, like, school in, like, an hour. Although I am already. And I actually went through a good amount of effort getting ready. Alright, I gotta kinda pay attention what I'm doing here. No, I did it again! I will get this the last thing I do in this video, which probably will because I already got all the materials to beat everyone else. Oh wow, you can block that? I didn't know that. What the hell? Okay, stop falling off the edge. There's supposed to be like a little bit of, like, of leeway there. You're not supposed to slide off like you got butter on your boots. So basically, Riku is just you with a different color scheme. And he's a year older than you, so he that makes him the oldest one on the island. Still Kyrie is your age. Okay, I couldn't see that one. Yeah, you can't really control the camera when you're locked onto someone. Oh, come on! I'm probably going to be cutting most of this out now. Because it's gone to like, I'm doing this for like five minutes. Forget it. I'm going to cut it out. This game is actually quite good looking for its time. Oh, Jesus, pay attention to the fight! Oh my goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, this is gonna be it. This is gonna be it. I think, I think because, like, whatever, God or whatever said, since I said that I will keep doing this until I win, he's just gonna make me keep losing. But I will win! I'm gonna get him. He's up on the tree. Come here. Oh, what the hell? Ah! Oh! Yeah, this is definitely gonna be a montage of failure. It's not you, it's your sword. Your sword's just better than me. But I will beat your face in. Come on, you ain't got nothing on me. One, one, two. Oh! Okay, this is not good. Oh, oh! I won! I won! I won! Woo! Now the score's one to seven. Ah, uh, yeah. A potion. Okay, okay. That's enough of that. I'm not gonna try that again. Man, this is way harder. <laughs> because I just recently played this on the normal difficulty just to see if I got a feel for it, and it was really easy. Like, I didn't die a single time, but yeah, they really amped up the difficulty. Anyways. Thanks, Sora. I found something today. Oh, I found something today, too. Here, it's yours. A high potion. Yes, high potion heals more health. Tired? Want to call it a day? Yeah, let's go home. Okay, it's getting late. We'll finish up tomorrow. So, Kyrie's home is out there somewhere, right? Could be. We'll never know by staying here. But how far did a rat take us? Who knows? 
If we have to, we'll think of something else. They already oh, have both. Suppose you get to another world. <laughs> what would you do there? Hmm. Well, I... I haven't really thought about it. It's just... I've always wondered why we're here, on this island. If there are any other worlds out there. Why did we end up on this one? And suppose there are other worlds. Then ours is just a little piece of something much greater. So, we could have just as easily ended up somewhere else, right? I don't know. Exactly. That's why we need to go out there and find out. Just sitting here won't change a thing. It's the same old stuff. So let's go. You've been thinking a lot lately, haven't you? Thanks to you. If you hadn't come here, I probably would have never thought of any of this. Kari, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. So I was just like, whatever, man. Sora! You wanted one, didn't you? A pow poo fruit? Man, that's a star two fruit. Two people share one. Their destinies become intertwined. They'll remain a part of each other's lives, no matter what. Come on, I know you want to try it. What are you talking? <laughs> Alright, that'll be it for now. So, uh, join us in the next video and we'll tackle day two of the Destiny Islands. I mean, day two of the game. Uh, anyways, uh, tune in then. Bye-bye.